what's the most valuable liquid you can think of? Gold, maybe. Oil? That's what most people would say. But the truth is, some liquids on our planet are so precious, a few drops could be worth more than your car, your house, or even your entire neighborhood. No, that's not a figure of speech. It's a fact of chemistry, biology, and mind-bending science. Today we are counting down the nine most valuable liquids on Earth. We're going on a journey from life-saving fluids you might find in a hospital, to luxury elixirs a century in the making, and all the way to downright dangerous potions that hold the key to the future of medicine. And you'll want to stick around for our number one spot. It's a substance so potent, it's not valued by the gallon, or even the liter. It's valued by the microgram, with a theoretical price tag that breaks the billion dollar barrier. These prices aren't about the quantity, they're about what's hidden inside each drop, and the incredible stories of the people who turn that potential into world-changing value. Let's dive in. We start with something inside every single one of us, human blood. You can donate it for free, so how can it possibly be worth $1,500 a gallon? Well, when a hospital buys blood, they aren't just buying that red fluid in a bag, they're buying a promise, a guarantee of safety. That price tag covers a whole chain of unseen heroes and hidden costs. Think about it. It starts with the trained phlebotomist who draws your blood safely. Then, that donation doesn't just sit on a shelf, it's carefully transported in a climate-controlled vehicle to a lab. There, technicians work diligently, testing it for a battery of diseases and identifying its type. Then it's put into a centrifuge, a machine that spins at high speed to separate it into its core components. Red cells that carry oxygen, plasma that carries everything else, and platelets, the delicate little lifesavers that help your blood clot. Those platelets are especially tricky. They only last for about five days outside the body, meaning their journey from the donor to the patient is a constant race against time. So that $1,500, it's the cost of expertise, state-of-the-art equipment, cold storage, and logistics. It's the price of making sure that when there's an emergency, the right blood is ready and waiting, guaranteed to be safe. You're not paying for blood, you're paying for a life to be saved. All right, from the profound to the practical, we've all been there. You buy a brand new printer for a surprisingly low price. You print a few documents, and then it's empty. You go to buy a new cartridge, and the cost feels like highway robbery. How is that possible? Welcome to the business model known as the razor and the blades. Companies sell you the printer, the razor, for cheap, sometimes even at a loss. They know they'll make all their money back, and then some selling you the ink, the blades, over and over again. The liquid ink itself isn't made of rare materials, but the value is artificially inflated. Companies spend a fortune on research and development, not just to make the ink work, but to design cartridges with proprietary chips that stop you from using cheaper third-party alternatives. This model, which persists despite the rise of ink subscription services, is what lets them charge so much for such a tiny amount of liquid. When you do the math and scale up the cost of those tiny cartridges to a full gallon, you get a truly shocking number of around $2,700. Luxury is a story, and for over a century, Chanel No. 5 has been one of the most famous stories ever told in a bottle. We're not talking about the watered-down version, we're talking about the pure parfum, a hugely concentrated elixir. So why the stunning price tag of around $26,000 a gallon? It starts in the flower fields of Grasse, France. Here, special flower Flowers like the May Rose and Jasmine are harvested by hand only during a few weeks a year, and only at dawn when their scent is the most potent. The yield is incredibly small, it can take over 1,000 jasmine blossoms just to produce a single gram of absolute oil. But it's not just nature. When Coco Chanel created it in 1921, she wanted a scent that was revolutionary. She asked for a perfume that smelled like a woman, not a flower. The secret was the use of aldehydes, synthetic molecules that made the natural scent sparkle and last. It was one of the first perfumes to blend nature and chemistry so artfully. Add a century of iconic branding, a legacy shaped by legends like Marilyn Monroe, and you're not just buying a scent, you're buying a piece of history, an icon of glamour. Now we venture into the world of weird science. Meet the horseshoe crab, a true living fossil that has been roaming our ocean floors for 450 million years. This ancient creature is one of the most important unsung heroes of modern medicine, all because of its blood. It's not red, it's blue. And inside that blue blood are special cells called amebocytes. Think of these cells as microscopic security guards. If they detect even the tiniest trace of a harmful bacteria, they immediately swarm it and 
form a gel clot, trapping the intruder. It's a biological alarm system. Scientists figured out how to turn this reaction into the Limulus amebocyte lysate, or LAL test. For decades, this has been the gold standard for pharma safety. Every vaccine, every IV drip, every surgical implant is tested using this method to make sure it's free from contamination. While new synthetic alternatives are now emerging to help protect the crab population, the vast majority of the world's medical supply still relies on this natural ancient defense system. That incredible life-saving power combined with the costly and difficult process of carefully bleeding the crabs and then returning them to the ocean is what gives this strange blue fluid its immense value of about $60,000 per gallon. Our next entry is a substance in the midst of a historic transformation, lysergic acid diethylamide, or LSD. For decades, it was known primarily as a 1960s cultural icon and a strictly controlled substance. But what if I told you it's now at the forefront of a revolution in mental health care? Today, advanced clinical trials are confirming its power to treat severe depression, PTSD, and addiction where other medicines have failed. For a brain that feels stuck in a loop of trauma or negative thought patterns, researchers believe a medically supervised microscopic dose of a psychedelic can act like a reset button helping the brain to form new healthier connections that incredible therapeutic promise combined with a complex and legally risky manufacturing process outside of research labs gives it a massive estimated value of around one hundred twenty three thousand dollars per gallon the liquid form is incredibly potent so a gallon contains millions of doses we're witnessing a substance move from the shadows into the spotlight of serious medicine. There are few animals on earth that command as much fear and respect as the king cobra. A single bite can be lethal, but inside its deadly venom is a complex biological cocktail that scientists are desperate to understand, giving it a value of $153,000 a gallon. Collecting this venom is one of the most dangerous jobs in the world. It requires specialists with nerves of steel to handle these powerful snakes and milk them for just a few precious drops. That risk is a huge part of the cost, but why bother? Because venom isn't just a poison, it's a library of unique molecules. Inside that deadly fluid are peptides, tiny proteins shaped like perfect little keys. And some of these keys are evolved to fit the locks on our nerve cells, particularly the ones that transmit pain. By studying these keys, researchers can learn how to design brand new non-addictive painkillers or treatments for neurological diseases. In that liquid death, we find the chemical blueprints for a new generation of life-saving drugs. Okay, stick with me on this one, because it's a total game changer. At about $4.7 million per gallon, this liquid isn't valuable for medicine or cosmetics. It's prized for something else entirely, genetic gold. We are talking about semen from the world's most elite stallions. At the highest levels of thoroughbred racing like the Kentucky Derby or Olympic show jumping, a champion's DNA is practically priceless. A foal sired by a legendary stallion has the potential to win millions in prize money and become a breeding star itself, continuing the legacy. Breeders don't buy this by the gallon. They buy it in tiny frozen vials called straws, just enough for one artificial insemination. But when you do the math and scale up the cost of these straws from a top tier champion like Galileo or Frankel, the per gallon price rockets into the millions. It's a high stakes blend of biology, sport, and finance, buying a lottery ticket where the odds are stacked in your favor by champion genes. If there is one liquid that truly defines the idea of value in a drop, this is it. Scorpion Venom is the most expensive liquid you can actually buy, and its price of $39 million per gallon is astronomical for two reasons, scarcity and science. First, scarcity. A single scorpion produces an incredibly small amount of venom. It can take milking a scorpion thousands of times just to fill a small thimble, but the real reason for the price is its miraculous medical potential. Scientists discovered that a specific peptide in the venom of the Deathstalker scorpion has an uncanny ability. It binds to certain cancer cells, but completely ignores healthy cells. This led to the creation of a revolutionary technology called tumor paint. Imagine a surgeon operating to remove a brain tumor. Under normal light, it's a terrifyingly delicate task to see where the cancer ends and healthy brain begins. But with tumor paint, the surgeon flips a switch, and under a special light, the cancer cells literally glow. This allows them to 
hunt down and remove malignant tissue with a precision that was once unthinkable, dramatically increasing the chances of a full recovery. When a single drop of liquid can mean the difference between life and death in an operating room, $39 million a gallon starts to make a strange kind of sense. And here we are, the number one spot. But for this entry, the substance is so potent that measuring it by the gallon is meaningless. We have to switch to the gram, and when we do, the value becomes almost incomprehensible. We're talking about botulinum toxin. You probably know it by its famous brand name, Botox. First, the scary part. In its pure crystalline form, this is the single deadliest substance known to science. A single gram is theoretically enough to kill over a million people. Let that sink in. And yet, it is one of the most common and valuable tools in medicine. How is that possible? Because the line between a poison and a cure is often just the dose. In microscopic, precisely controlled, and heavily diluted amounts, its paralyzing effect becomes a medical miracle. For cosmetics, it relaxes the tiny muscles that cause wrinkles. But its real power goes deeper. It's used to treat chronic migraines, severe muscle spasms, overactive bladder, and a host of other debilitating conditions. A commonly quoted theoretical valuation is about $1.5 billion per gram. That's not a retail price. It's a number that illustrates its unbelievable potency, showing how many millions of therapeutic doses are packed into a speck of dust. It is the ultimate paradox, a substance of terrifying lethality, masterfully tamed by science to improve and save lives. So from human blood to scorpion venom, what have we learned? That value is almost never about the liquid itself. It's about what we can do with it. It's in the human ingenuity that turns a deadly toxin into a cure for migraines. It's in the scientific curiosity that finds a cancer-fighting tool in the tail of a scorpion. It's in the systems we build to ensure a bag of donated blood is safe and ready when we need it most. These liquids are expensive because they contain something we can't easily get any other way. Safety, beauty, a cure for pain, or a shot at a genetic legacy. They are the raw materials of innovation. So I have to ask you, which one of these shocked you the most? Was it the crab blood, the horse semen, or something else? Let me know down in the comments. If you learned something wild today, do us a favor and hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into the strange and precious things that shape our world. Thanks for watching.